anything that you guys do within your writing, do you say, okay, well, you know, I really like this, you know, do you, you, know, do you say, I really like this riff, you know, I'm going to feed off that. You know, continuously, or do you guys that, that is a continuous yeah. thing. Dan, do that again, let's, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, I like to you, you hit that there. guitar to, like, the way he just played those drums. It's it's always. We work on our heavy part and then do the verse. And the, the verse is our keyboard part. We want a low part. We want a, an emotional part that builds it up with the keyboard. Builds the tension. And then we want an explosion on the heavy part. And that's where it's like, Dan, you need to just fucking hit it. Yeah, so you see the, the core of the shot. song comes from Dan? Exactly. The, the heavy, the heavy, the heavy sounds come from him yeah you know? we build that we build it up just to let it go to where you want to just throw elbows yeah he'll say Dan do something just boom 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 and you know says, yeah. yeah you do something heavy to that but then we also have a very technical side we know frequencies I don't hit I don't hit his mm -hmm. octave I don't touch his octave and I definitely don't touch his octave I hit my octave. We know our octave. I noticed that when I was when we were doing a sound check with you guys. Like once you smooth everything out, like you're not hitting the same. Because if you same it'll mush it up. These two guys. And and there are times in practice where we're at each other, and I'm like, no, you're if you hit my because he'll go into the lead part where he wants to hit these lower strings. I'm like, no, you're you're in my octave. And the second you do that, it, it sounds like mush. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Box. So we know, box. we know we know what frequency of sound everyone needs. To Everyone's be got in. their own litter box. Is that what's going on? Yeah, yeah. 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 we all got our own litter box. Yeah. Yeah. And it works like out. It, it works out well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when we had a lead guitarist, it was always a battle, me versus him, because it was like was that we, like the extra guy in the band? Is that why there's still remains four? Yeah. <laughs> that like every time you guys get a guitarist, you know, like, I, I hate to say it, but that extra guitarist is expendable. It really is. He's a temp. He's a tip. And it was <laughs> it was competing frequencies. Whenever he was up there, Sorry I obviously listening. couldn't be up there. So, is it so? Is it all about dynamics, really? It, it's about emotion, and it's about dynamics after that. Diet, Whenever you we know a heavy part does nothing if it's four heavy parts in a row. You got to have a, a intense build up before that heavy part is going to make people jump. And if, if it's heavy part, heavy part, heavy part, like hardcore goes, you're not going to get the same emotional attachment oh, whenever awesome. you build until, until it runs out. the it's same ability to let it break into a heavy part. And that's what, that what's give you power. And that is what you guys do too. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah, me and Donnie have had many drunken discussions sitting around going, like, <laughs> you know what, you better win? Emphasis on the drunken. Yeah. Well, that's whenever we're all free it's and all talking about dynamics. But I mean, it's it's simple, it's just, nice. it's Ten minutes ago, me and you, know, you just like, had the conversation. Yeah, we write the about yeah, and we write a lot of the bass parts. A lot of your the verse, your verse needs to set you up for the heavy part. Yeah. And if you don't set yourself up for the heavy part, it's not going to be as powerful. So that's that's kind of where we're yeah. at. As, as a guitarist, I could concur with that because if, if you're if you're just blaring straight up every single riff, then yeah, the effect was in this. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like you you went to ten and that's it. I mean. Because we've tried to write like really heavy songs, and people just don't pay attention. They walk away because they get bored. Because if it's yep. if it's and five minutes of heavy, one. five minutes of heavy doesn't do you yep. anything. It's a contrast. It's the same thing in life. The good you know, the good times don't mean shit if you don't have some bad times. So that's how I feel it is. You know. Well, I want to shift gears at you guys a little bit here. Um, another thing I want to ask you guys is that uh, the digital meltdown tour. You guys got that going on right now. Um, do you have anything coming up in the future with that? Um, like as far as like, where does that end and where are you guys going from there? The problem is, is the second we step two feet out of our area, no one comes. So right now our, our goal is to have the Suicide Pub, the Seventh Player, you know, step out a little bit into these untapped areas. Get a, get a group going that at least maybe ten people show up and then bring the tour there and then build, build our tour at that point. So, you know, right now, we can put on the Digital Meltdown tour in our 40-mile area and, and make it a profitable. But we go to places like Black Hole, talk ourselves up, and if no one comes, you know, we look kind of silly. Well, if you guys just signed the Romulus X Records, I mean, are there any things in the wake? That, I mean, maybe there's things you can't speak of at the time. Uh, you know as much as we do. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm trying to sign to that label. Too. I'm trying to, you know, I know. I'm trying to, you know. <laughs> All right. It's, it's, you know what's on the carpet over here. Okay, well, you know what's under the carpet. I don't want to reveal anything, you know. I mean, we got online sales on the horizon. I mean, I'm not going to lie. We are talking yeah. about expanding the suicide puppets, you know, getting them a better following in New Jersey. Uh, you know, we are 
we are looking international, if yeah, I'm not right, mistaken. Yeah, you know, yeah. um, you know, we're also looking to go into Canada. And you guys are always included into our. Well, of band. course, and you guys are always in our. There's, band. there's no reason why you can't call That's up the, and uh, say, the "I went on the show." Yeah. That is if you right. called yeah, me, if you called me and said, "Hey guys, I got, you guys got the show, and I went on it," you would be on. Yeah, because I, 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 I would, if I had to, we would know, yeah, yeah, kick yeah, off yeah, any yeah, other. Yeah. You know, like, no, yeah, we're, yeah, we're going to have well, the vivid twist here. Like That's, Donnie always says, your coffin and mine. You know, I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know where are we going to get buried together? Yeah, we, we hold a lot of devotion to your band as well. I mean, we really enjoy you guys, I mean, immensely. Yeah, I mean, we're very... There's a couple of times we had to leave.